My name is Steven Adolf and I am PhD researcher at the Best Tuna project of the Environmental Policy Group of Wageningen University. And this is skipjack tuna, the ingredient in most of the cans of the tuna we consume worldwide and the raw material of my research on sustainability and partnerships in global value chains. More and more different kinds of partnerships around sustainability assessments appear while state regulation in sustainable fisheries is diminishing. So if we see states acting in sustainability partnerships, reinserting their role in the global value chain, we really look at something new and innovative. We wrote a paper on how states can use the sustainability certification standard of the Marine Stewardship Council to not only improve sustainable tuna fisheries, but also to enforce their position as the owner of the tuna resources by becoming actors in the value chain themselves. For this purpose, we looked to the biggest single producer group of skipjack tuna in the world, the eight island countries in the Western and Central Pacific Ocean united as members of the Parties of the Nauru Agreement or PNA. With 25% of the global tuna stocks in their waters, the PNA like to become a kind of producer cartel and work together opposite the trading and the canning companies and the powerful brands that are actually the lead firms in the value chain. The PNA asked for the MSC certification of sustainable fishing for their free school skipjack tuna as well as certification of the chain of custody. To market this certified tuna they formed their own brand that is traded by Pacifical, a public-private partnership together with the Dutch tuna trader. By doing so the states enter in the global value chain for canned tuna and try to regulate its performance through using the MSC certification. This alters, of course, the existing governance of the lead firms that coordinate the global value chain. We found that through Pacifical, the PNA seeks greater agency in three ways. First, by using Pacifical partnership. They expand the position of member states from the owner of skipjack stock to a central commercial role in the chain. Second, Pacifical is feeding back information from the chain of custody traceability system. And third, by branding cans, Pacifical creates a direct link to consumers by promoting the PNA as a recognizable production source of sustainable tuna and social accountability. This result demonstrates that states can effectively govern sustainability while playing an economic role in the value chain, using a voluntary market-based certification like MSC and using sustainable partnerships. The PA case has proved that these arrangements can work not only to have an impact on sustainability and fisheries management, but also improve the economic benefits of the ownerships of the stocks. It seems probable that in similar cases in other fisheries, or even in other commodities, condition might exist for states to play similar roles. Read more about it in this paper published in Fisheries Research.